kind of afraid. Oh, my ponytail is falling. In this hairstyle that's probably way too young for me. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I kind of don't want to film this. Not because I'm embarrassed that I've bought this many books, because I'm not. I own this. And you know what? I'm helping the economy and I'm helping authors and I'm helping small businesses. So no shame. Um, however, I did have to destroy my bookshelves <laughs> to get all of these books out. In my apartment, it's already a mess. So, you know, that's why I didn't want to film it. So, um, I thought I had a list of all the books I bought, but in pulling these out, I was like, uh, I think there's things missing from that list. So I will just cause for my own interest, if I have the energy to count, I will put up how many books I bought in the last three months. By the way, this is my spring slash summer Q2 book haul. The books I bought in April, May, and June. Um, <laughs> and uh, sort of, I'm waiting for some books that I bought in June from um, authors and uh, indie bookstores, but uh, that's fine. And like one's a new release that comes out at the end of the month that I got from an indie, so I'm not but I'm not waiting to film this. So, um, but I'll put up how many I bought and how many I have read either previously or since I bought them. So I did kind of loosely organize them, I think. This is so many books, I can't even believe it. Anyway, <laughs> so let's start with the book box books. Yeah, that was right. So I get, anyways, this had not come in time for my last book haul, but it is the Fairy Loot exclusive edition of Chain of Gold, and it doesn't have a dust jacket or anything, it's just black. Um, well, not just black, it has all this gold stuff, and it has the black sprayed edges with the, like, the sword dagger thing. Um, ooh, that's pretty. I haven't even looked in this. <laughs> Um, I probably will buy the regular editions of this as well so that they all match on my shelf, um, but I was definitely suckered into buying this. And then for my book boxes for Fairy Loot and Owl Crate, I actually had two duplicates. So for two months, I got Bone Crier's Moon. Um, I do not remember it this time which one is which. These are them, slightly different colors, different color sprayed edges you know but I got those um and then I got two copies of incendiary um I believe this no I, I couldn't tell you which one was which which one was fairy loot and which one was owl crate um they are both really pretty I think I like this one a little bit more though um and then in I think it was a fairy loot I got this like graphic novel called Witchy by Ariel Slamet Riaz? Riaz? I don't know. Um, I don't know anything about this, but I did get to this as well. Um, speaking of graphic novels, I'll actually say I did buy two graphic novels. Uh, I bought Saga Volume 1 and Fables Volume 2, which is Animal Farm. Um, I was kind of just trying to get a thrift books order over $10, and I was interested. I've wanted to read Saga for a long time, but like I don't like reading things that aren't complete, and especially with stuff like this, I feel like it's going, it's like harder for them to be complete, and I don't think it's still complete, but I decided to risk it. Um, and then I've been wanting to reread, I own the first one, I read it in college for a college class on fairy tales, um, and I've been wanting to like continue with that, like reread that one and continue with it, um, and I believe Sean who is Elliot from Elliot Brooks's, uh, Elliot Brooks, that's her channel name, that's her name, sort of, um, <laughs> like, uh, it's her husband, he has read these as well, and I think he, like, likes them enough. Next are some 2020 releases that didn't come in book boxes, so I picked up, I don't know, these are in just random orders. Um, the Earl Takes a Fancy by Lorraine Heath. This is the latest book in her Sin for All Seasons series. And I believe the last book comes out this year. And I actually got an e-arc for it, which was great. But I'm behind, so now I need to catch up. So I bought this to help me with my catching up. I did just finish one of the books, so that's good. I am in the process. 
Um, I did pick up Beach Read by Emily Henry, um, which is a contemporary romance. Um, this was, it's called The Novella Collection by Katie McGarry. Um, and it's just like a collection of novellas that she has published um, in her, in, like throughout all of her books. And she self-published this, which I love. Um, and I've read most, if not all of these, so I consider this read in case you were wondering. Um, next is actually, um, it's called Censored by Caroline Bobic. This is actually on Magali if you want to check it out. Um, even though it's been released, this is self-published. Um, Caroline actually works with my brother, so he bought this for me and sent it to me. I do plan on reading it though, it's YA. Um, and it looks interesting, it just looks like it's probably going to be kind of a tough read to read right now. Because it's about censorship. Um, next are new releases, but I've already, like, I had read these when I purchased them. Um, so I did buy signed copies of Whatever It Takes and Wherever You Are. So I do have an E, or I have a physical arc of Whatever It Takes, but this one is signed. Did I just do regular signed in here? Yeah, I just did a regular Chris and Becca, and then Wherever You Are. I don't think I showed this last time. Um, but those, gotta have Willow and Garrison in my life. Um... From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is a new high fantasy series by her. And I had read this as an ebook, um, but because I just didn't want to wait for the physical copy to come in the mail, but it did come and I own it now. This thing is quite the chunker. And then the last new release, I believe, unless I missed something, is Recipe for Persuasion by Sonali Dev. I actually read this as an e-arc as well, but I did purchase a physical copy because I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. Also, I love Sonali Dev. I love these covers. I live for it. I hope she gets to write every Austin in this series. So, let's see. What's next? Then I bought some books that I actually have already read but didn't own physical copies of. Um that aren't new releases um so that's what this section is so first is dare to you by or dare you to by katie mcgarry this is actually i ordered a hardcover from thrift books and it came as a paperback and an e-arc supposedly they're sending me a hardcover replacement but this is what i have for now and my battery's dying the risk and the chase by l kennedy um, I again own these as uh, ebooks and I wanted physical copies of them. The latest book in this series, The Dare, just came out in June. And then I was able to find a copy of Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan, but I did pick up this, which I had read years ago and really liked. And then I picked up What a Wallflower Wants from Thrift Books um, because. I own the other two books in the series in physical copy, but I did not own this one. Next, I'll do a bunch of books I bought off Thrift Books for Smasher Trash videos that I plan on doing. For the rest of the year, I plan on doing a Pride and Prejudice one and a Beauty and the Beast one. For the Pride and Prejudice one, I picked up Prom and Prejudice by Elizabeth Yulberg, um, which looks like it's a YA, probably young YA. Um, in assembly such of such as this by Pamela Aiden. This looks like it's um, one told from uh, Darcy's perspective. Longburn, Longborn, whoa, by Joe Baker, and this is per Pride and Prejudice, but told from like a maid's perspective at Longborn. Um, an epic fail by Claire. Lezebnik, which is another YA retelling. Um, and then I already own a couple. And then for Beauty and the Beast, I own a few, but I picked up Firelight by Kristen Callahan, which is a historical romance. Ooh, the pages are bent. Um, I think it's like fantasy, maybe. Uh, yeah. And then Winter Song by S.J. Jones, which is YA fantasy, and these are both first books in the series. But I think this one is like a companion series, this one is a real series. And the next section are books that I have not read and are not new releases. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start <laughs> with these. <laughs> There's so many of them. I did pick up this 
I think it's called The Conqueror's Saga by Kirsten White. I can't remember what order they go in, but they are Now I Rise, Bright We Burn, and And I Darken. I think And I Darken might be the first one. And these are YA. I've heard they're a little dark. Um, Vlad the Impaler slash Dracula kind of retellings, gender swapped. Um, I've enjoyed a lot of the Kirsten White I've read, so or Kirsten White I have read, so I'm sure I will like these as well. Um, I did get The Play by Al Kennedy. This is the third book in this series. Like I said, The Dare came out in June. I have not read this one yet. I need to read it. It'll probably be the next book I read after I finish the book I'm reading right now. Um, I picked up two Sophie Kinsella books. I don't think I shared these before, but they are I Owe You One and Surprise Me. They are two standalones she has written that I have not read because I dropped off the Sophie Kinsella bandwagon for a while, but I'm back and I'm getting caught up. And since I read the Honey Don't List as an e-arc earlier this year, I decided I like Christina Lorne. <laughs> and so I decided to try and get more of their books. And so I picked up my favorite Half Night Stand, which I think is one of their more popular ones, and Love in Other Words, which again, I think is another one of their more popular ones. Um, because I just need to read more Christina Lauren because I have liked everything I've read by them. So, And then I was placing an order um, through Jennifer L. Armitrout. You'll see those in a minute. Those were so unnecessary. But while I was doing that, I decided to pick up Frigid, which is the first book in a companion series. The second one is Scorched. I've actually already read that one. I had never read this one. I believe it's like kind of a unrequited love story, which is why I had always avoided it. It is signed. Um, but I like Jennifer L. Armentrout, so I don't know why I was avoiding it. Like, I might as well just buy it and read it. <laughs> um, I also got Headstrong Like Us by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I am, this is also signed, this is the sixth book in the Like Us series. It is the fourth book of following Moffy and Pharaoh, and I haven't read it yet. I know, because the next book comes out, like, ASAP. It's out by the time you're seeing this. Um, but I do need to read this. I know. I'm a horrible fan. Um, and then I bought these from Serena Bowen. They are signed as well. I can never remember which one comes first. Goodbye Paradise and Hello Forever. These are, it's like a duology. It's male-male romance. And it is about two guys who escape a cult and the cult actually shows up or like people from the cult show up in her True North series. And I think I said this in a video at some point this year. Um, apparently I'm into that, like cult romances. So I need to read these. And they're really short. They're also on, uh, my library has the audiobooks so I can't decide how I should read them. We'll see. I'll probably read them multiple times because that's what I do with Serena Bowen. And then I got a bunch of mass markets. So I picked up uh, two more Maya Rodell books. They are Chasing Lady Amelia and Lady Bridget's Diary. Maybe I showed this last time. I don't remember. Um, but Maya Rodell is another author who I've read in the past and enjoyed but kind of forgot about. And then I had an e-arc from her earlier this year. And I was like, I do like Maya Rodell. And so I decided to pick up some of her books from Thrift Books so I can read some more. Because, you know, I don't own enough books already, so it was the only natural thing to do. Um, and then I picked up The Highwayman by Kerrigan Byrne. I read my first Kerrigan Byrne book last year, and I think this is one that people talk about a lot, and I know people really love her, so I figured I would buy another one. And again, I was making a Thrift Books order, so why not buy books when they're cheap and you can get free shipping? And then this book looks brand new, uh, which blows my mind, and it is Slave to Sensation by Nalini saying this is the first book in her Psy Changeling series, and I feel like a horrible person. I think I said Nalini Singh was one of the authors I haven't read in my, um, like, big romance authors I haven't read and I'm embarrassed about, and it's still true. I still have not read any of her books. I'm still ashamed. And this book is really old. Like I had a friend in college who was trying to get me to read these and at the time I wasn't really into paranormal romance so I was like avoiding reading it and I feel like a horrible person. Um, so I finally, I bought the book and I'm going to read it and I'm sure I'm going to love it and then I'm going to hate myself but it's fine. Okay. Right. 
my ponytail is driving me crazy so now you're just gonna see this like half pony half messy bun thing going on I know how to hold a book. Um, picked up The Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. Um, because it was a good deal and I'm gonna have to read these eventually. So yeah. Um, I also got A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, um, which was on one of my quarterly TBRs. So that's fun too. Um, Another thrift books purchase was Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Septis. I've been wanting to read this for a long time and I don't know what. I guess I was just looking to spend money and I finally caved and bought it. And now, spoiler alert, because I think this comes out before my Q3 TBR. This is on my Q3 TBR, even though I was not planning on having to read this soon. Because I feel like it's going to make me cry. But it's fine. Um, and then an impulse purchase. I feel like somebody was talking about this. And the way they were talking about it, or like references, made me want to read it, so I bought it. Um, and then it's Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, um, which is another thick boy, especially for a YA. Okay, so then the last section we have to talk about are the most ridiculous purchases I made. Because, actually, hold on. First, I'm just, I'm only going to show you this one. I did buy the Nerdy Ink um, recovers for Harry Potter because only two of my Harry Potter books had covers, dust jackets on them still, and I decided to buy these, and I see them in Kristen from Super Space Chicks videos, like just sitting in her background all the time, taunting me. So then when they were on a Facebook ad, I bought them. Congratulations, Facebook. One of your ads finally worked and got me. Um, so I did get these, and I have covered all of my Harry Potter editions uh, so I did get those but all of these remaining books are books I already owned and I bought alternative editions because <laughs> I'm special like that I'm so extra so one is Mortal Heart by Robin Lefevers, and this will actually replace my existing copy of Mortal Heart because I like these editions better. And so um, this is just gonna be a swap out, but the rest are not. So I did buy a hardcover edition of Blue-Eyed Devil. I said I was gonna do this in my Blue-Eyed Devil reading haul or reading vlog so that I can reread it and uh, annotate it easier than in a paperback. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I originally read this in a large print, which is just crazy, um, to have one in my life again. But, so I did buy that, but I will keep my original. Um, oh, this one will replace too. I did buy a hardcover of Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry because I had a paperback. I will unhaul the paperback because they're the exact same cover and everything. I just wanted a hardcover because pretty much, no, all of my other Katie McGarry except that dare you two that came in for thrift books sending me the wrong book um are all hardcovers so I wanted them to match um and then I did place an order for the special editions of Kiss the Sky and Hot House Flower at the time Fuel the Fire and Long Way Down were sold out they have now come back in stock and I'm waiting for them to arrive um these are signed from Krista and Becca Ritchie's shop. So they do come with additional content in addition to being alternative covers. These will not go on my main bookshelf. Um, I said this, I think, in a library, my library setup video. I have another bookshelf I'm going to use for all of my, like, extra additions for my extra self. And these will go on there. But what I did with these is I had them... Oh, I could have... Oh, no, they are. So Krista and Becca sign them and then you can ask on their website to have characters sign your books. I think they do a max of two characters. Um, and so like this one I have signed by Daisy and Reich um, because those are the, that's the couple in this series. And then this one is signed, I know it'll come as a surprise, by Rose and Connor um, to me. And that is what I did with the other ones as well. Um, versus like all my other editions are just signed by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Yes, I am that extra. No, I have no shame. Also like I'm helping independent creators, okay? 
Next was part of my Jennifer L. Armentrout order and I bought books. These are not in order. I don't even care. Two, three, four, and five in her um, Covenant series. I happen to own these in alternative editions. I like these better but I'm not getting rid of my old editions. Also book one was not available. It's still not available. It's fine. And I don't think these editions the novellas come in these editions, um, but I have physical copies of the novellas. So these are not book two or book one. Book two is pure. Book three is Davy. Book four is Apollyon. And book five is Sentinel. And I've been wanting those editions for a while, seeing them around, and they were available signed through her website. So I decided to buy them and support her and I do plan on rereading that series soon as well. Um, speaking of Jennifer L. Armentrout, I was also taunted by these. <laughs> so these are the alternative Lux editions and while I think the original Lux editions are really corny and not the prettiest, I don't think I would ever get rid of them. Like. They just have such a place in my heart and so but I think these are really pretty so um it is uh, opposite or obsidian no this is gonna be a struggle opal onyx I think origin opposition and then this is shadows which is a little novella or it's not that little really well yeah it's a novella and this i did not have a physical copy of so that was great but aren't these so pretty and like the colors i know i'm just justifying it and then the final ones i purchased <sighs> I'm not sure I'm done purchasing these books, but right now I'm content with the additions that I have found. And that is I bought the Jane Austen books. Now the only thing I don't like about this is that for some reason Northanger Abbey is not labeled. I'm assuming because it's thin, but like it bothers me. Um, so I have, um, and this, I think I said this in a previous video, I was just looking for like a set that I really liked all of the covers for and I did like all of these because I did, own, well, that's not true, I didn't own all of them anymore because I got rid of Sense and Sensibility in Mansfield Park because I don't like them, but if they're pretty, they can sit on my shelf. Um, <laughs> so I got Northanger Abbey, Mansfield Park, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, Sense and Sensibility and Persuasion. Um, so, and I just got these off of Amazon. Um, I don't know, but I think they're pretty for now. I would like hardcovers at some point that are really pretty, but it is what it is. So, I just realized I'm gonna have to take a thumbnail for this. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. I don't even want to put these books away right now. What time is it? Oh my gosh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Murphy. Why'd you let me do this? Why'd you let me destroy the shelves? <laughs> so those are all of the books I purchased. I'm going to try and cut back on my spending. Not because I can't afford it. I can. Um, but because I really don't have room for all of these books. And my apartment... It's overflowing in general so uh, I should probably cut back we'll see though I don't know but yeah so thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself sorry if I talked really fast I just didn't want this video to be an hour long and sorry I didn't tell you like anything about these books again didn't want this video to be an hour long so thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye mm -hmm.